Hi everybody, good evening, welcome to That's Football, I'm Mark Goldbridge for another Premier League midweek watch along. We love it, we love it, we absolutely love it, don't we? But I tell you what, I'm a little bit confused. There's a lot of one one fives. I'm not confused about that. I'm a little bit confused in the chat, everybody. Um, that Villa team is absolutely terrible. I knew, I knew Ollie Watkins was going to be missing. Let's start off with the um, with the with the Man City side. I mean, it's weird. I don't know whether I don't know how happy Arsenal and Liverpool fans are going to be about this. So anyway, look, uh, Ortega, Lewis, Diaz, Akanji, Vardiel, Rodri, Bernardo Silva, Foden, Doku, Grealish, Alvarez. It's still a ridiculously strong Man City side. Haaland's been benched uh, and De Bruyne has been benched. Um, but look at this. Look at this. Look, look at this Villa side. I don't. I, I need. I need some clarity here. I, I don't get this. So. It's just unbelievably unrecognisable. Apparently, Martinez is ill, so they've changed their goalkeeper. Konza, Carlos, Longley, Digne. Torres is on the bench. They're shit without Torres, so why is he on the bench? Zaniola, Irobinum, Luis, Rogers. I mean, why? Is, where is... I think McGinn might be suspended. Where's Jacob Ramsey? Probably injured. Um, where's Leon Bailey? Uh, where's Tillemans? And then up front, Diaby and Duran. Uh, on the bench, Tillemans, Torres, Bailey. I mean, suddenly Villa go from being a really strong team to being a team that just doesn't look look that good. Um, yeah, I, I don't get it. Um, could it be Villa have just looked at this game and gone, we've got loads of games, this is one where we're not really that interested in it. Um, I mean, if it is, Man City are ridiculously lucky that they're not playing the proper Villa side because, I mean, it just plays into Man City's house. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know what, I don't know what, I, I find it really, really weird, that Villa team. In a Premier League game, I find it really, really weird. And I know they've got some injuries, but it's still Torres should play. Still, Bailey should play. Still, Tillemans should play. Like, you know, you're missing Watkins, McGinn and Martinez. And then you drop three of, three of your good players as well. So, I mean, people say there might be an illness spreading. Look, I want Villa to win. So, it's, it's just disappointing. Disappointing because it's a free hit for City in a game that, you know, you thought might be quite difficult. Uh, City are going to run rampant, rampant now. Look, I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll switch it off at half time if it's boring. Um, look, um, look. If you've been part of the uh, watch alongs on here, you'll know that we have different conversations about things. Unfortunately, I'm in trouble again. Seems to be happening quite a lot at the moment. Not, not for Agony Bridge. We've been given advice about you know breakups and stuff like that. It's got it's something to do with animals again. I don't know whether a fish is an animal or not, but basically the last couple of streams I've been talking about this program I watch. Um, it's like a vet program, and like you know, people who who, who I think go over the top about their animals. Um, there was one about a mouse, and then there was one where a goldfish died, and they but basically they took the goldfish into the vet and it was like it was in the bowl and it was to the side and the vet said i'll see what i can do he was gone 30 seconds and he came back and said the dog the fish had died uh they they were they were crying so much that they left the filming 48 hours they go around their house to see if they're all right they're still really upset and all i said is it's a bloody fish it's a goldfish why would you get upset about a goldfish anyway i've only gone and had some messages today saying you're really disrespectful. It's really disrespectful. It's not disrespectful. I just don't think a fish, a goldfish, really should be mourned the same way a dog or a cat should be. I don't know what how that can be disrespectful to fish. I just don't know how. Anyway, I've not had any lunch, so I'm um, just going to have this. But it's not disrespectful to fish. Rest in peace, fish. You can't beat a bit of fish finger, by the way. So, uh, there's your disrespecter of fish. I personally like it with a... I like the way it's gold gold crumbed as well. A fish finger with some lovely gold crumb on it. Um, better with a bit of ketchup and a, and a, and a bit of lettuce in a sandwich. But um, people just go mad about all sorts of stuff now. Rest in peace the fish. I'm sorry, 
I don't think it's offensive to laugh at people who are still crying about a dead goldfish two days later. The stupid thing is, they probably do eat fish and chips. Right. I think Aston Villa might be disrespecting this league, though. I don't get it. I really don't. I'm definitely going to get complaints now. I don't care. Should have turned it into a fish finger, says Tom. Well, disrespectful, Mark. My neighbour still gets upset when I think about his pet gerbil flying over the trees and disappearing forever. <laughs> no, you shouldn't laugh at that, actually, Dan. You shouldn't, laugh at, you shouldn't laugh about that at all. Kyle, thank you very much. I'll tell you what, though. Changing the subject, I haven't watched any programmes about dying animals, so I can't give you any anecdotes about that. And we're about to start to kick off here. But I... I, this is mad. This is something for the for during the stream, okay? Tell me thing. Well, look. So basically, I was on social media in the bath. I was flicking through my phone. I was looking at stuff. Um, I can't remember whether it was Facebook or TikTok or Instagram. They all do reels now, don't they? And you do see some interesting stuff, and I do try and remember them for the stream. Basically, I've seen four or five of these, and I'm captivated. I'm absolutely captivated. So there's this... There's this, there's this sweet jar right and there's a woman with a with a metal spoon and she's talking about this offer right that you can get for these sweets and behind her she's got all these different jellies all, all different colors and that meerkats you know hearts whatever she's going right she's going behind with a scooping them up put them in the jar and the jar's gradually filling up with all these different colored jelly sweets oh my god has anybody else had this i'm like it's doing something to me I'm like loving it. And then obviously because it knows I watched it all, I get another one where there's an empty bowl and they're just dropping, someone, some hand is dropping different types of jelly sweets in. What is that called? What is that called? I mean, and I don't get it. I'm watching something that I'm absolutely captivated by and I don't get it. I'm just watching different sweets being put in a jar. So, you know, let me know in the chat what that is and... Is there stuff that you go on your phone and look at that really gets you excited and, and, and going? And uh, yeah, d d don't talk to me about, you know, a MILF getting done by a couple of, you know, big whatevers. I mean, that's standard. But like, it's just really satisfying to watch. It's obviously, it's obviously a thing, but I didn't know it was a thing. I didn't know it was a thing. And Dan, who's filth in the chat, when I'm saying, tell me things that are a bit weird that you like, that doesn't mean, you know, watching your dog take a shit while you're not one out. Or, I don't know, um, you know, popping around your stepmums and watching her in the shower. And if, you, if you're doing it without a consent, that's an offence. If you're doing it with a consent, you're both sick. And if you know who Dan is in the chat, he always turns up with some filthy thing about sex. Um... Anyway, look, if you know what that is, let me know. And uh, I am i just had to bring it into the stream. I just couldn't believe that I was watching these different types of sweets being put in a jar. And I was like, I was like a kid in a sweet shop. It was amazing. Um, right, we're ready to go here. I, 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 look, I genuinely want Villa to win, but I'm disgusted by their lineup. I don't, I just don't get it. I just don't get it. I don't get why they've put such a weakened team out. I think they're going to get absolutely battered. Again, for a different reason, Man City benefiting in a way that really damages the integrity of the league. I, I haven't seen this for a while and I didn't expect it from Villa. Putting out a weakened team against Man City away. It just it doesn't make any sense to me. I don't get it. I like Villa. I want them to do well. In fact, I know a Villa fan. Watch this. Well, you, you won't be able to watch it, but I'll tell you what the answer is. He's a he's a big Villa fan. I've just said to him, why have sit a Villa thrown this game? Shocking team to put out and hand City the win. Let's see if he replies. I'll let you know if he does. 
Mario Franco says he's obsessed with Ma Ma Mafia City games. I'm just, I, I, look, I'm ignoring everybody who's taking a pop at me for the fish finger thing. I like fish fingers and I just happen to be talking about a dead goldfish where I've had some complaints. It's a coincidence. I would never purposely eat my dinner two hours ago and then put a fish finger in the oven while I was doing United Stand for the purposeful reason to uh, get at the people who were moaning about the goldfish. I just wouldn't do that. I've got better things to do with my life. I wouldn't, I wouldn't purposely cook a fish finger for a stream just to get at those people. I just wouldn't do that. That's not me and you know that's not me. Um, it's called ASMR Mark, says Mark. Well, that's what I mean. If it's ASMR, 1-0, oh no, side netting, Alvarez. They're going to get battered here like a bloody fish. Um, if it's called ASMR, have you got... Tell me your weird ASMR. Not weird. Just tell me things like I think it's really weird that I look, I like different types of sweets, jelly sweets being put in a bowl and I could watch it for like half an hour. My mate likes going on YouTube and watching people have blackheads removed. You know, like the blackheads where they're like quite wormy when they come out your nose and that. He watches videos about that. I think it's sick. Um, and not in a good way. My rabbit hole is a cow hoof doctor channel, says Kyle. There we go. I like to fart in bed, bed and get under the duvet, says Tam. Owen's got a job interview for Weatherspoons. Any advice? Um... I quite liked working behind a bar, Owen. So I'm not I'm not going to knock it, even though I could. You know, you've got to start at the bottom. Everyone's got to start at the bottom. I'm not saying where the spoons is the bottom, but, um, you know, I used to like working behind a bar. Didn't you watch Nemo? Uh, I once hit a golf ball out of a packed stadium in Salzburg and hit the motorway behind it. I've played the game, says Mark Cunningham. Um, you're going to get swatted by the RSPCA, love from Sweden. Well, should we Google that? Am I on safe ground? RSPCA protect. Well, this is true. The RSPCA believe that fish have the mental capacity to feel pain and suffer and that their welfare should be safeguarded in the same way as any other animal. Each species of fish farmed in the UK exhibit different behaviours and preferences relating to their, their feeding. There you go. It doesn't say what they think about goldfish or fish fingers. Anthony Taylor is the referee for Man United, says Ronald. Sheep says, can we do a babe station watch along? Oh, can you imagine that? Either or. Should we go on vintage 70s or uh, threesomes with a dildo? What's a threesome with a dildo? Use your imagination. He's got one. She's wearing one. The other one isn't. Um, too early for all that. I watch a guy who goes around unclogging drains, says Animal Charity Channel. I tell you what, you know what? This is getting really good now. We're talking about little, you know, what video things that you like to watch that are not P-O-R-N. Um, so I like to watch, I've fit, figured out today, I like to watch bar, j uh, sweet, bar, sweet bowls or jars being filled up with sweets. I really like it. Um, there was one I used to watch last year where it was basically this rat catcher and uh, he'd take his dogs to a farm. They'd lift up a bale of hay or something about a million rats would run out and these dogs would just, well, they weren't making love to them, let's just say that. It was quite effective and efficient in a rat genocide way. Um, I've, I've stopped watching it now. If you can't pet it, you can't mourn it, says Quinton. <laughs> yeah, literally. Uh, hearing of the damning comments by Lingard's manager, says Jide. No, I was checked out on Lingard a long time ago. Uh, Kudos and Watkins are injured. Best possible lineup, says Akshay. For me, it's a guy on YouTube that runs a concrete business and all he does is vlog his day-to-day -day life of him working, says Flores Official. Oh, have you seen that one that people do? Where you like, you like put um, cheese or soap 
or you know marshmallow they put it in like a in a in like a pot and then they have this machine that's got holes in that presses down on it slowly and it just all shoots up in uh, strings I, I, it doesn't really do it for me but obviously it does do for some people and i've seen it where people have like yeah cutting things like soap and stuff people love all that hydraulic press says maliki yeah uh, Lou Mate says, for some reason, videos of comparison of all iPhone generations captivates me. Sometimes UFO, si UFO sightings as well. This is all interesting stuff. Title favourites, Usman. Well, if Man City are going to play teams where teams turn up and just go, we're, we're going to prioritise the game at the weekend, then Man City are going to win the league. This, If I was a Liverpool fan or an Arsenal fan, I'd be absolutely fuming with Villa. I'd be absolutely fuming with them. They, they could definitely have picked a stronger team tonight. Dropping Terra, resting Torres is their best centre-back. They, they play loads better with Torres. A uh, couple of people have said this. Charlie George says, I love earwax removal. You know what, Charlie? I think that's a little bit like what I was saying about those uh, spots that people like as well. Um... Earwax removal. I know what you mean. That it is quite yeah. It's 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 a bit icky, but yeah, a lot of people do like it. It's called autonomous sensory meridian response, says Mark Holder. Well, I get it with people putting sweets in bowls. Horseshoe removal, says Cyber. I've seen that. I've actually seen that. Uh, I I don't like the horseshoe removal, but I like it when. They find a horse that's not had its feet cut for ages and they, they cut it all clean and get all the mud off. That's good. I like that. It's weird, isn't it? It's a weird thing. It's a weird thing, this. You're basically... We're talking about stuff that we just find oddly satisfying. Power washing, garden trimming videos for me, says PSN. Anton, thanks for your super chat. It's all Man City, this, by the way. They're just going to... They're going to... The one nil up here. No. Luis, they're, they're going to get battered, Villa. It's such a shame. Oh, my mate likes one where a cow has a big abscess and a vet sticks a hole in it and it all just pours out. I mean, it makes me want to throw up, but he really likes it. Can anyone stop PSG on their side of the Champions League draws as Finn? I mean, it is a bit of a weak side. Uh, I watch swimming pools being clean, says Sean. Uh, Blicky94 says, I remember the aliens found in Mexico with video footage and official sources confirming uh, sighting. Was that fake? Feels like a diversion tactic. Yeah, we're not talking about alien sightings, but if anyone does. Shane says, there's a YouTube channel of a guy that goes around removing wasps' nests from people's homes. Really butters my bread. This is what we're talking about, Shane. What, what, what clips of something that's a little bit out there really butters your bread and dan again stop don't say anything about watching your dog take a shit that's not what we're talking about we're talking about things that people might find satisfying i'm telling you now when you make eye contact with a dog taking a shit i think part of you dies it's a weird look and the fact that they look back at you as well i mean I, it's not something I, I do but occasionally when the garden dog's out in the back garden i'll look at where it is and i can't help but it's there looking back at me again it's not even, they don't even look like that. It's their own look. Um, it's all Man City here. Uh, in the other games, by the way, Arsenal are 2-0 up. It's game over. It was game over after the first goal. Uh, Odegaard and uh, then an own goal from Luton. So they're 2-0 down at half time there. And it's 1-0 to Man City. Game over. Absolutely disgusting. You can clip me up on this if you want. This is fucking disgusting. The integrity of the league is in the fucking mud. Man City are the jammiest bastards in the league. It's an absolute disgrace. Not only have Liverpool been cost six points by bad refereeing, Arsenal have been cost points by bad refereeing, but Man City, who haven't had that happen to them at all, happen to play one of the best teams in the league who have two or three players injured and then rest four or five other players. It's incredible. Absolutely incredible. Will Liverpool play a weakened Villa team when they go to Villa Park in May? 
Will they bollocks? Will Arsenal play a weakened Villa team when they play them? No. It's absolutely disgusting. And I like Aston Villa. And I'm disgusted by this. The team selection is a joke. Well, they're checking it for VAR, but it's onside, definitely. Well, that'll be game over. There's no way Villa are coming back. I mean, I mean, not even Man City. If you were, if you were, I mean, I, I'd like to play this Villa team. It's disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting. I can't, I can't be the only one who thinks this. Um, Sam says lawns being mowed and looking like golf greens. He loves it. Book and painting refurbishment gets me going, says Jake. Uh, Reese says, what butters his bread is watching people get hurt. Oh, he's clarified it. Fail army type stuff. Uh, X videos of painting on the canvas that spins, says Blicky. Billy Harlem, thank you very much. Fridge and cupboard restock or jet washing really dirties my potato patios. Oh, sorry. Rebe Re <laughs> I, th I thought you said really dirty potatoes. She said really dirty patios. I thought it was a euphemism, Rebecca. Thanks for that. Uh, pe uh, really appreciate that. Um, Mark, do you want Liverpool to win the league? No, but I just think it's so unfair how Arsenal and Liverpool have been screwed over this year and Man City just fucking... Everyone just rolls the red carpet out for them. This is one of City's hardest games they've got left and it's a walk in the park because Villa are missing two or three big players... And have also, you know, rested three or four other big players. The fact that Bailey, Torres and Tillemans are not starting is a joke. An absolute joke. I like videos of people finishing games like GTA as quickly as possible, says Les. Um, Jimmy Anderson likes to watch videos of crashes in races and in traffic. Okay, moving from that one. Uh, Brentford versus Brightman, says John. And I'll just chat to you lot. Uh... Hi, Mark. Love your content and football opinions. In my opinion, you should be on the overlap as a Premier League fan, not just a United fan. I won't be on either. I won't be on it, Gunners, forever. Um, banned. Um, that Man City goal was more disgusting than all that gross shit you were talking about before, says Robbo. And uh, um, Hi, Mark. Remember me, says Melons. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so it's it's not the game we thought it was going to be Villa against Man City. I mean, it's just it's just not Villa's. I mean, what's Villa, if you think about it, that that is nowhere near Villa's best team. Martinez isn't there, Torres isn't there, Tillemans isn't there, McGinn isn't there. Obviously, Kamara's injured anyway. Watkins isn't there, Bailey isn't there. It's and some of them could be there. Some of them are obviously like Martinez, Watkins, and McGinn aren't there. Um. I think what Emery's done, and it's only an opinion, I think what Emery's done is he's gone, I haven't got Watkins, I haven't got Martinez, I haven't got McGinn, I'm going to lose anyway, I may as well rest some of my players because we've got loads of games coming up. Uh, in fact, Villa's fixtures look like this. Um, what, 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 what? What, what, what? What, what, what? Why, why am I being shown April 2023? It's April, it's fucking 2024, you dicks. What's going on here? Yeah, okay, that's broken. Right, we, we, we won't look at that then. Um, yeah, Villa's, Villa's uh, next few fixtures look like this. They've got, um, they're playing... Well, it makes a lot of sense. They've got, they got Brentford on Saturday at 3 o'clock, which they'll prioritise as a win. Then they've got Lille on the Thursday, Arsenal on the Sunday, Lille on the Thursday, Bournemouth on the Saturday, and then they could be back in the Conference League again. So, um, they've just, I, look, I genuinely think he's thrown the game. Not in the sense that, you know, beat us 4-0, but I think he's sort of gone, 
you know, there's there's bigger priorities than trying to get a result against Man City at the Etihad. And uh, that's really unfair. Really unfair on uh, Liverpool and Arsenal. But Mount says the weirdest thing I watch is Goldbridge. Uh, Aji says, how do you deal with the som insomnia? I don't know. I, I just go to sleep. Uh, Emery is the biggest joke. He'll lose the fourth position, says Sort. Mark, do you always whinge, says Andrew. I think I think City brings the whinge out of me more than anybody. If you, if you watch my content, it's always... I can't stand them. I absolutely cannot stand them. And the thing is, I've got loads of Man City fans who I get on with. It's weird. I, I actually know like quite a few Man City fans and their sound. I just can't stand Man City. And everything goes their way. I mean, Liverpool and Arsenal will not play Villa like this. He will not put Torres on the bench against Arsenal. He will not put um, Bailey and Tillemans on the bench against Liverpool. He will go for it against them. And, you know, Man C I, I, the thing I always say about Man City is... When that you know when you know like the penalty that that should have been given against McAllister, they don't need help like this. They're already the best team in the league. They've won the treble. They don't need Villa to turn up with their fucking reserves. They don't need referees to not give a penalty against them in the last minute. They're already the best, and they get all the help as well. That's that's my problem. Uh, JH says, "What about the guy who likes kissing his car? He's got a new one." Yeah, that was weird. Um, our phones are lounge at your dining table, says Tanish. No. No, not even me. 115 is in the chat. I watched a good video last night on Netflix. Um, I can't remember what it's called. I've only watched episode one. It's uh, it's about New York and uh, like crimes in New York. It's, I think it's trending in the top five at the moment on Netflix, but uh, it was quite good. I watched the documentary about Lily Savage the other night. I must have been really bored. I don't think I could... I couldn't... I mean, why would I be interested in Lily Savage? And she's a scouser. He. Um, it was a he who dressed up as a... It was a drag queen. Used to have a primetime TV show. Friends with Cilla Black, who is dead now, but apparently it was the most unpleasant celebrity in the world. You can look at it on forums. I don't know whether it's true. But yeah, um, I don't know why I was watching that. I think the remote control was lost. Shoot! Oh, 1-1! One, one. Villa! I told you that... I told you! Get in! 1-1 one, one, Villa! I, all those people moaning about they won't try. And... Uh, They've scored. It's a lovely goal as well. Absolutely lovely goal. A nice little one-two. Her name is Rio and she likes it up the Anyway, it's um Duran it's Duran who scores. It's a lovely breakaway from Aston Villa. I mean, imagine if they'd tried. Imagine if they picked their good team. Lovely ball. He's onside there, shut up. And uh picks it up here. Plays a lovely one too. Ah, Diaz is crap. You know what? One of the most lazy, lazy opinions of the last two years in football. You know when people put Diaz in a Premier League team of the season? He ain't he ain't it, mate. He ain't it and he ain't been it for about three years. It's. It, I said it on the podcast the other day. It's just pure, lazy opinion. Diaz. It's like, it's like your mate down the pub who doesn't know. He's miles on side. You can see it from here. It's like your mate down the pub who uh, who doesn't know football. And you go, who'd, who'd be in your team this season? Wow, Diaz is generally considered to be one of the best centre-backs in the league, isn't he? No, he's not. He's over. He's overrated. Oh, bloody VAR. Shove it up your arse. He's, mile, he's absolutely miles on. What are they looking at that for? He's absolutely miles on. And they're checking this as well. Have you seen what they're checking here? Have you seen what they're checking here? Have you seen this one? 
absolutely miles on. Idiots. Oh my God, you've just wasted a minute of people's life there, you absolute turds. What are they checking there? Oh my God. And that's the people in charge of the bloody Premier League. Clueless. Absolutely clueless. Anyway, 1-1, one, 1-1. One, one, one. Um, Mark, how don't you remember me? I gave you nine quid, says Melons. When did you give me nine quid? Um, Gunners Forever says, seriously, who picked this Villa lineup? I'm sure everyone is going to be available against Liverpool and Arsenal. FFP117, says Gunners Forever. And I hate them as much as you do, but at least I know they don't that, why they exist. It's a lot more painful to see Arsenal and Liverpool in a better position than United, says Juan. Uh, have you watched the series Kin, says LC18? I did. I really enjoyed it, actually. I never mentioned series that I'm watching because I know you'd spoil it, but I have watched Kin now, so yeah, I have. I have. Will you be doing a creative club for the next EAFC, says Jake? Mate, there's talks going on at the moment about a United Stand Pro Clubs team going into the league that... Uh, Gurf and Turth are creating. There's all sorts of stuff going on at the moment. Now, it's a bit difficult for me because I do and have been a member of Gurf and Turf, but there's all sorts of stuff going on at the moment. Me and Ginge have been in a bit of a bit of a back and forth tonight. Um, he asked me if I could play tonight. I said, by the time of Streams United stand in this, I'll be tired. And I said, ooh, you know, maybe, maybe, I'm, maybe, maybe it's time for me to retire. And he was like, no, no, you know, you're, you're welcome to come and play for us anytime. And then he was like, you know, are you thinking about starting your own team? And I said, would you be offended? And he was like, well, I can get you in the league if you want. Then I was like, you know, you can't really afford me. So there's all sorts of stuff going on at the moment. Um, well, that's what I mean. I started off as a midfielder, but because I can't play every week, I've lost my place to pie face. And then I was right back. And now they've got Bazinga at right back. So I'll be bloody left back. So I'm like, if I'm going to play, I've got to play in my position. So there's all sorts going to go on. For me, it, for me, it will be an amicable departure, but you never know with Ginge. He has got an angry in front of him. So we'll wait and see. I, I, I'm just eager not to be called a snake like Harry Pinero because he is a snake, what he did. Um... Uh, Robbo96 says TNT are trying to be hipster by keep cutting to a weird camera angle in the Arsenal game, moving it up and down the pitch rather than pivot from dead centre. Gives me motion sickness, says Robbo. Don't fix what's not broken. That's my thing. Uh, watch the documentary about City's treble, Mark. Mate, you should watch Shogun, says Jack. I watched the first two and I just didn't really like the English guy in it. I thought it was going to be a bit like, you know, The Last Samurai or something, which I really enjoyed. And I, I just, I, I will go back to it. I'm only two episodes in, but. Uh... Uh, Paul says, you clearly care more about City not winning the league than United's Champions League hopes. You should want City to win for United's sake. Mate, we haven't got any Champions League hopes. The fact that you think we've got any is hilarious. We haven't got any. LeBron says, Mark, playoffs are soon. Support the Lakers. Goldio says, I'm a United fan from Birmingham, but I've always had a soft spot for the Blues. I can't stand Villa and the fans are horrendous. Really dislikable. Thanks for all the chats tonight. Who's your favourite GOT character, says Jeffrey. Oh, I don't know. I used to love Game of Thrones and I think the last season or two just turned me... I, I, you know what? When I when I used to watch Game of Thrones, I always said to myself, when, it, when it's finished, I'm going to watch it all from start to finish again. I've got absolutely no desire to do that ever again because they, they shat on it at the end. Um, please do subscribe to the channel, by the way. Bottom right-hand corner, you're very, very welcome. We've got 15,000 watching and we're, we're on the road to 120K, 28K tonight. Um, we've had a bit of controversy early on, by the way. Um, there was a goldfish on a show that died and they went back to the owners 48 hours later and they were still crying. I mocked it. Not in a grief mocking way. Who does that? But in a way of why would a goldfish still be upsetting you two days later? Anyway, 
There were some complaints about me being insensitive and at the time, at the start of the stream, I also happened to be eating a fish finger. Now, some people are saying it was staged, but I would not do something like that. I would not subtly dig out the complainers by planning to cook a fish finger for the start of the stream. I, I just wouldn't do it. Uh, we're also been talking about um, ASMR, not BDSM. Um, We've been talking about ASMR, things that really butter your bread that are a little bit weird. Like I was saying, I was in the bath earlier. Don't worry, it's not going to go there. And um, I was watching a little clip of this woman with a silver... It's not going to go there, don't worry. This woman with a silver um, shovel, small, taking different types of sweets and putting them in the jar. I mean, even now I'm like, I want to watch it. Um some people have been saying they like earwax removal videos. Some people have said they like jet washing of a dirty drive. Um, thankfully, Dan's not on tonight because we very much suspect he would come out with something sickening, like uh, he likes to wear his dead mother's clothes and uh, take pictures of himself um, whilst watching his dog take a shit in the garden. But he's not on, so thank you very much. Uh, we're also watching Man City play Aston Villa Reserves. Why is the keeper not out for that there? And it's 1-1. City are going to win this game, by the way. They're absolutely going to win this game. I can't believe how weak Villa's team is. If Villa put this team out every week, they'd be in a bloody relegation battle. Uh, grieving for a goldfish is deserving of mockery. You did the right thing, says Robbo96. Why wouldn't I watch the Man City documentary, mate, Chase? Because I, I would rather watch my dog on a loop having a shit in the garden and make eye contact than watch Man City um, watch Man City win a treble. Like, I'm not joking. I, like, I love football, but that is just, you know. The league is ours, says Zane, who's an Arsenal fan. And M. Parker says, Mark, at the start of the season, I told you disrespecting the number seven shirt will bring all sorts of bad luck. You called me names. I felt sad. Well, you know, sometimes you've got to go against other people. HTS, Mark, I moved, so haven't been able to watch as much. Hope you're well up the villa. HPN, hope you're doing well, mate. I haven't, I haven't noticed you in the chat for a while. Hope you are doing well. Uh, WS Plays, thanks for your super chat. Yep, yeah, HPN, I know you. Um, Carmichael says my ASMR is Mark Goldbridge FIFA rage videos <laughs> I tell you what if I do start doing a pro clubs TUSFC team and I am the manager you'll get a lot more clips because I get I'm, I'm quite ruthless I don't put up with mistakes and if I make a mistake it's someone else's fault I don't know. Talks continue tomorrow on that one. I, I could get a team together that would compete very, very quickly. Very, very quickly. I've got, I've got, I'm connect, I'm better connected than BT. Over the years, I've, I've uh, accumulated a, a little, uh, a little book of good pro clubs players who are Man United fans. So I could get a team together like that. Um, look at the white bit, says Aiden. You've got TikTok brain syndrome, says Danny on the gas. It wasn't on TikTok. If I could find the video, I'd show it you again. It was amazing. I wonder how you search. I wonder how you search for it. Actually, I shouldn't do it. It's rude when we're on a stream, but I really want to know if it's a thing. Um, where would you go? If I can find it, I'm going to show you. Just, 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 just to show you what it is. Have you guessed what it is yet? I don't think it even is a thing. I just think it's something I like. Oh God, she's got loads of packets and she's just putting them in a jar.
Oh, she's got a half jar and she's going to fill it up. Oh, my God. What? It's weird. It's so weird. Yeah. Oh, my God. Someone get help. Um, Fisher, friends, not food, says filming. Don't watch the start of this stream. Um, yellow card here for Grealish against his former club. I ah, tell you what, did you see that at the weekend? You know, after the, the, the Arsenal game at the weekend when Pep was bollocking Grealish on the pitch. This is why I prefer Klopp. This is why I prefer Klopp, because when Klopp has a pop at a player, there's a good reason for it. Pep, it's about his ego. Like that Grealish thing was premeditated. That was about, I'm going to walk on the pitch, humiliate this player and make myself look like a tactical genius. I'm going to go, mm. you know, I just thought, oh, God. Your 6-0 FIFA game against Burnley has got 1 million views, says M. Parker. I think I think my most watched video on YouTube wasn't even on a on a channel I own. What's the what's your thoughts on the the music band ELO? Um I quite I, they only did one good song, wasn't it? Unbelievable. Whoa. Boom boom ba doom ba doom boom boom. boom. I mean, it's all right, but I don't I'm not really a big fan of um, One It Wonders. What do you think of us Wolves and our injuries, says Emily and Ben. I think Gary O'Neill's done a great job for Wolves. Um, and there was a time where I thought they might finish in the top eight. But you're right, it's just, uh, it's come undone, hasn't it? Um, you know what, there's a bigger conversation to be had here about injuries. Because the way it decimates some, some teams, it's, I mean, you look at Newcastle. I mean, Man United have had it this year, but you look at Newcastle as well. Um you just can't get in the top four with the injuries that Newcastle have had. Um, and obviously, someone like Wolves, they just don't have the depth. It's just defence against attack, this, isn't it? I mean, it's, it really. this is like watching a relegation team against Man City. This is not Aston Villa, that's my point. Um, do you like heavy metal, says Charlie? Not really. Um, hello everyone, welcome to That's Fish Bowl. I'm Mock Goldfish, says Rami. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, the fish, the fi fish gate's carrying on here. I know that that fish finger is going to be on TikTok very, very soon. Um, can you showing it out, my mate, Finn? Says Joshua. When you When you're live, it helps me get the date. Get through the day, says WS Plays. No worries, mate. Um, yeah, if we do the pro clubs team, we might be doing some trials. So if you're any good, keep your ear out. I like glass bottles and jars being smashed, says Matthew. Uh, duh. City have three first team injuries. We have eight, says Don. Yeah, but you know what, Don? It's sad that Villa have to go, you know what, we've got Brentford on Saturday. I want to rest some players as well. Basically, Emery's looked at this game and gone, we can afford to lose it and focus on other games. And that's absolutely fine. You've got to do what's best for Villa. But in a title race, it's really unfair on Arsenal and Liverpool. Connor says you barely watch the game. I do watch the bloody game. It's right there. The chat's there and the game's there. There's nothing that's going to go on that I don't see. Philip Sutton's gifted a membership. Absolute legend. What's for breakfast tomorrow, says Misto. I'm on a, I'm on a quite a good uh, health kick at the moment. Um, I've cut a lot of things out that apparently weren't really that good for me. Grealish. Um, yeah, I'm going to ask the question. You know, as I said, I was watching this video 
of uh, this uh, couple. And they weren't old. They were in their early 30s, I reckon. They took their goldfish into the vet. It died. Here we go. Great save by Olsen. Um, it's only a matter of time. Their fish died anyway. They were crying. And then two days later, the camera crew went to see them. And they were still crying. Um, what? How small does the animal have to be for you to not really grieve it? I think... I remember, like, I was sat in the living room with the kids and a little bird flew into the patio window and I ran outside and I picked it up and it had definitely broken its neck and I just put it in my hand and just sort of went, you're safe and I watched it take its last breath and then my oldest said, we need to bury it and uh, my youngest said... Um, in the night gardens on it's the circle of life and i thought that's the contrast isn't it you know one of them wants to bury it in the garden the other one said just wrap it up in toilet roll and put it in the bin we're missing in the night garden i do think getting upset about a goldfish dying is is really naive because if you if you're worried about the protection of life then you probably kill a certain amount of bed mites every night when you get in bed and stick your, stick your big ass on it. What did we do with it? Um, yeah, um, I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm not saying what we did with the bird. All I'm saying is we didn't miss. We didn't miss much of in the night garden. Um, free kick here for Man City. So when Ten Hag plays a different style of football due to injuries, that sky is falling. Emery does the same thing. Nobody cares. Football is weird, says Les. Well, hated, ignored, never. Hated, adored, never ignored. Um, Bart says, Mark, your content makes me smile. You have an amazing sense of humour and it helps me through some tough times. Grab a nice pint on me. Bart, legend. Hope you're doing well. Uh, Sheep says he's a good centre back on pro clubs. Get that contract. Yeah, things are moving quickly with this. You know, it's a commit. It's an extra commitment for me, but um, things are moving very quickly. I feel I'm being forced out of girf and turf and uh, into my own breakaway club. Anyway, free kick. I think it's Alvarez who's going to take it. Oh, it's over the bar. It's over the bar. I think the small. I remember. My, I remember my rabbit. Well, I don't know what happened to my rabbit. You know, looking back on it, I've just had a an epiphany. Um, when my mum and dad separated, my rabbit stayed at my dad's, and he used to work shifts, and he was in a bad place. And uh, when when I went round at the weekend, and I said, "Where's George the rabbit?" He said, "Oh, I will let him out in the garden for a bit of exercise," and uh, he ran off, and I think I saw another rabbit with him. So I think he just ran off into the wild. The older I get, the more I think he let it out and forgot about it and it got out by a fox or he didn't bloody feed it and it died. There's no way the rabbit was out and ran off and then my dad saw it running off in the distance with another bloody rabbit. It was a nice thought until you actually switch your bloody head on. Yeah, so I mean... I. But I, I didn't really, I didn't, I must admit, I didn't really grieve. I liked George the Rabbit, but I didn't really grieve it. When my dog died, I was devastated. I gave up on God. It had cancer. It was going in for an operation. And in the morning, I prayed and I said, look, if this dog dies, we're finished. We're absolutely finished. And the dog died. And I said, I mean it. I absolutely mean it. And that was the June. And then Christmas came along and I, 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 uh, I buckled. But for six months, I didn't touch a Bible. Um, yeah, I was devastated when my dog died. Cats, bit of a mixed bag. Rabbit, over it very quickly. Fish, never give a shit. Um, never had a gerbil. Mum had a lot of horses. I always thought it was sad when they died, but I never really liked them. 
never really got into them. So, I mean, of course I never got into a horse. That would be disgusting, but you know what I mean. Uh, United should sign Eagle Pickle from the Night Garden to replace Anthony, says Shotgun. Uh, funny thing is, if Villa beat City, they're only two points behind them. If they had any ambition, they'd go for it, says Gavin. Well, maybe you'll bring them on in the second half. Imp says you're a legend. I love you. Thanks, mate. Injuries aside, would Man United make top five, says Blicky. I think if Man United could play... I mean, we've only played our best 11, which is Anana, Delo, Shaw... Varan, Martinez, Casemiro, Maynou, Bruno, Rashford, Hoyland, Ganacho. We've only played that team once for 60 minutes against Wolves. If we could play that team 60% of the season, we would get top five, yeah. Because we're only really the Brentford and Fulham results away from being in the race for top four or five. But Villa and Spurs are better than United. They deserve it. Um, 42 minutes. He's a good player, Douglas Louise, isn't he? Sack says, I've got news for your goal, Bridge. He was put down. Nah, my dad wouldn't have had the time to take him to the vet. George just says, when they score a goal and you're not paying attention, what do you call that? I've, I've seen every goal. Score prediction for Chelsea and Liverpool. I mean, I keep forgetting we've got a game tomorrow night, Chase. I mean, I, I'm excited. The way I feel about Man United at the moment is I'm excited, but you never know how it's going to go. I think it's like, you know, when you know, sometimes I don't, I, again, maybe this is just unique to me. You know, sometimes when you really need a dump and you actually, that you're actually thinking, oh, I'm going to, I'm going to enjoy this one. Um, it's a bit like that. You look forward to it, and then you get there, and there's complications. It won't come out. Um, do you get matches in 4K in the UK? Says Yay, no, no. I don't know. I don't know. HD, whatever that is. Mark, would you take Tony or Xerxes for United? I feel that Tony will go for way more than he's worth. Says Forza. I mean, I've got a hunch that Tony's not a good. Signing for United is Grealish into Foden. Oh, that's a trip off the ball on a Villa player by the little shithouse Bernardo Silva. He's, he's disgusting. Look at him talking to himself. Do you use Just For Men, Mark? Says FPL Fozzy. No, I bloody don't. Do I look like I use it? Mark, uh, yeah. Thank you very much for the super chats tonight, by the way. Uh, and please do subscribe. Let's see if we can hit 128k tonight. Get involved with Axe Football. Uh, thanks to everyone who's been watching and listening to the podcast, by the way. Uh, our new venture. Starting it up on our own again. No big backing. We're not on every billboard at every bloody Premier League game or EFL. Stick to football. Um... Fair play to them. It's a good podcast, but uh, we're for the people. And uh, support it by scanning the QR code. You can also listen to the full one. It's up on the channel now as well. So thanks, everyone, for all your support. Get yourself down the Goldbridge Arms and join the debate. That's a dive by Foden. Look at them round the referee again. I just, I just despair at it. When are they going to do something about it? I, 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 you know. There's like four of them. They've won the free kick. It's a dangerous position and still it's not enough. Still, you've got Diaz, you've got Rodri, you've got Grealish, you've got Foden all around the referee demanding a yellow card. It's disgusting. I mean, why, why do they get away with it? It's one, it's, it's one of the biggest 
mysteries in football. They do it every game multiple times. Goal. Foden. They do it every game multiple times and never anything happens with it. Uh, I think this is a good goal, to be fair. He's whipped it round the, round the, round the wall. Uh, opinions on that tosser, young Philly, sodding for removing you. Goldbridge and Hove Albion reign supreme. What do you mean he's not removed me? He hasn't removed me. Um, honestly, the way the City players swarm around the ref begging for a card is disgusting, says Robert. Yeah, it is. Uh, let's have a look at the free kick. Ah, the wall. It's not a good goal. I mean, what's that wall doing? It's crumbling like the Berlin Wall. Straight through the fucking wall. Unbelievable. I mean, Villa have just embarrassed themselves here tonight. They've embarrassed themselves. Honestly, the way City players swarm around the ref begging for a card is disgusting, says Robert. Thank you very much, mate. Uh, Julian Alvarez does not start for Man United, says Tabello. I think he'd uh, I think he'd start over Bruno, mate. Mark, as an outsider, I'd keep Ten Hag. When they were playing against us, Hoyland looked like an absolute menace. And last year, I really thought United were back Then they, when they smashed Barca. Yeah, it was a good game. Good game, that was. Can Villa get back into it again? Mm, don't know. Uh, Arsenal, 72 minutes. And Brentford, a 0-0 with Brighton after 73 minutes. Of course, Liverpool play um, Sheffield United tomorrow night. And Man United are at Chelsea. We'll be covering that on the United stand. Check Zaniola's bets, says CoffeeBot. Cameron says, any pro clubs tomorrow, Mark? I don't know what my future is, mate. I don't know. I don't know whether I'm starting a new team or I don't know what's going on at the moment. I don't know. There's all sorts of stuff going on. Um, let's have a look at the stats here because this will tell you the story of the game. Absolutely incredible. Look at this. Eight shots to three. 63% possession. Aston Villa reserves rolling up to Man City. What five teams would you want back in the Prem, says Matthew? Uh, definitely Sheffield Wednesday. Um, I'd like to see Ipswich get promoted. I remember them from the days of Chris Kiwamia and Jason Dazelle. Um Sheffield Wednesday, Ipswich. We have seen a lot of Norwich, but I do see them as a Premier League club. I'd like to see Leeds back, even though they can't stand United. It's always a nice, you know, I like the big game. So I think I'd take Leeds back as well. Uh, you know what? I'd like to see Coventry get promoted. I think they I think they deserve it. Good save. Should have been 3-1. Thoughts on Amarim as Liverpool manager, says Jaco. Well, now you're not getting Alonso. I think that's the place to go. I wouldn't go anywhere near Deserby. What about Sunderland, says Mario? I don't really... I don't know whether it's because I've never been there, but I, I don't really have much affection for Middlesbrough or Sunderland. I just find them a little bit... Un, not unappealing, but just a bit bland. Leicester? Nah. Not really bothered about Leicester. Seen enough of them. That's half-time. 2-1 to City. I mean, look, the, 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 reason, the reason a lot of people, mainly Liverpool and other, other fans, are, are moaning about this, um, this team that Villa have put out is because it's a gimme. It's an absolute gimme. They've just gifted three points to Man, to Man City. And when you look at Man City's running, this was one of their hardest games. They've got Palace away, easy. They've got Luton at home, easy. Tottenham away, could be interesting. Chelsea is in the cup. So Brighton away, you'd fancy them there. Forest away, you'd fancy them there. Wolves at home, you'd fancy that. Fulham away, you'd fancy that. Man City uh, against West Ham at home. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, this was this was one of their toughest games, and Villa have rolled up with their reserves. Interesting. Gifted them a win. Look, I, I like Villa. I like Emery. Um, I don't know what... You know, Villa fans have got every right to protect themselves, and they've got no right to... They've got no obligation to help out Liverpool or Arsenal or, or the credibility of the league. What they've done is, in my opinion, is they've looked at Lille next week. They've looked at Brentford on Saturday. They've looked at their squad and they've said, we can't keep playing every three or four days. So we're probably not going to beat Man City anyway. So let's make a few changes, uh, make sure we're fresh for Brentford. Um, and that's what they've done. Um, and it's it doesn't help the integrity of this Premier League race, but... It's not the first time it's happened at this time of the season. You also start to get teams who are mid-table who are just down tools because they're on the beach. It happens. And uh, that's why when you're in a title race, you can't really look at the fixtures and say, oh, that'll be a tough game because you just don't know what the other team's going to do. Like when Man City play Crystal Palace or West Ham, Crystal Palace probably safe on the beach. West Ham might be out the race for Europe and focusing on the Europa League. So you just don't know when you're going to catch teams at the right time. Um, Man City, Villa. V Villa wiped their arse with Man City at Christmas. This is just not... This is this is just not Aston Villa. Why is a gun celebration allowed, says Blue Crow? Because it's Man City. Uh, City paid Villa to put out a crap team, says Evie. And what do you think about uh, Victor Giacres from Sporting, future United player? I think it'd be too expensive, Ossian. I think it's too expensive and too high profile for what we're looking for. I think, we, I think we're looking for, uh, you know, a backup to Rasmus. I don't think we're, we're looking for a replacement. Yellow, yellows for dissent don't count when it's Man City. The leniency they're shown must be one of the 115 charges. Robbo, call, it, call me bitter. Call me a hater, call me whatever you bloody well like, but it it really gets on my nerves. Every time I watch Man City, every foul, four or five players go around the referee. And I saw Delo at Anfield get a double yellow card for dissent. He was nowhere near the referee, he just wasn't happy about a throw in. And every week, you know, I think I think Tommy Asu got we've seen so many people get booked for dissent, and yet every week the best team in the country, crowd the referee, and not once has Howard Webb used his brain and gone, next time they do that, just give one of them a yellow card and it will stop straight away. And they're not even that intelligent to go, we could stop that. You know, we're, we've got no credibility as a refereeing organisation at all. Everybody knows that other teams are getting booked for dissent. Everybody knows that Man City crowd the referee 10 times a game and nothing ever gets done about it. What an easy win. Just book one of them and they will stop doing it. And they don't do it. They just let them get away with it. Explain that one to me. Howard, explain that one. Michael Owen, there you go. If you want to make yourself sound interesting, the next time you're doing a video with Howard Webb, drop it on his toes and say, why is it, Howard, that you said this year you're going to come down on dissent? And yet every single game, Man City crowd the referee and not one of them have been booked. See how he answers that? He can't answer that because it's bloody scripted and it would never get asked. I tell you, this is, what, this is why we do the podcast because there is so much in football that it just doesn't make sense. Does not make sense at all. Imagine if Michael Owen said that to him. You know, this is the year where we're going to come down on dissent, Howard, and you've never booked a Man City player for dissent and they keep doing it every day, every game. Why won't you book them? Well, Michael, what you've got to think about here is um, you've got to think about subjectivity. Um, I think what we're trying to do is protect our referees and, you know, stop this sort of dissent. But um, what Man City are doing is just the passion of the game, Michael. You know that yourself, um, that, that they're really passionate players and uh, we don't want to take that out of the game. So... Um, what we're doing is we're just we're, we're trying to get that balance, and I think the fans are with us. I think they're with us. I think they understand that um, we're trying to get that balance. We don't want to go too far, and you know, start booking players for crowding the referee. On one hand, if they're not wearing a light blue shirt, we will do it. So it's about getting that subjectivity, getting that balance, Michael, and, and I'm sure you understand that. Um, I do, Howard. I do. Yeah. Um, Grealish was booked, mate. Uh, yeah, Grealish wasn't booked for dissent, though, was he? 
And it didn't, if he, if he had been booked for dissent, why wasn't he booked again when he was moaning about the free kick? Um, are you interested in centre-back Tossin from Fulham? Not really, Aturo. If we get him, I'll support him. But I'd rather we went for Branthwaite and Tadebo as our centre-back pairing. Um, I've played the game, Ray. I have played the game. Uh, are you interested... I've done that one. Start bench sell. Kvaric Skelly, Rashford, Grealish, says show. You can get involved in this at home. It's not exclusive for me. Start bench sell. Kvaric Skelly, Grealish or Rashford. I will start... Well, I mean, actually, I don't want to be a hipster here. I haven't watched that much of Napoli this year. Kvaric Skelly's a good player, but he's doing it in Serie A. Grealish has had a shit season and so has Rashford. So I'd start Kvaric Skelly on absolutely no data. Um, I'd bench Rashford and I'd sell Grealish. I think Rashford's had a better season than Grealish. Grealish has had a horrible season. Uh, cheers for the entertainment. Entertainment. I love the pet stories, says Logie. And uh, thank you very much for that. Thanks for the super chats tonight. Please do subscribe to the channel. We're trying to get to 128,000. If you click subscribe bottom right hand corner and you like this community, then please do subscribe. If you've already subscribed, you could click the share button and share it or smash a like on video. Um, it's still 2 0 to Arsenal with eight minutes to go and it's against Luton and it's still 0 0 between Brentford and Brighton with seven minutes to go. So uh, there you go. And obviously it's 2 1 here between Man City and Aston Villa reserves. Um. 1-1-5-2, Villa B-1. It's true. It's funny because it's true. Uh... Apparently here, just reading, Man United are one of the very few top-level clubs not to employ a fitness coach, and that could change under Ineos with the performance and psychological provision, one of the areas under review. Um, that's mad. What's this? Okay, I'd lost my live chat there. I was completely stuck. Um, I know what I'm going to do. I'll be very disappointed if my fish finger thing isn't on TikTok yet. Or anywhere. It's amazing what, you know, it's amazing what you can get away with on TikTok. I can't do it. You know, people take my reactions to the goals and then I have the real goal underneath. Um, Pensby says, I've just seen the Foden goal. That's ridiculous by Aston Villa. Go straight through the wall, mate. It's not, it's just a, it's a gimme. They're not Aston Villa tonight. They're Aston bloody... Take three points off us. That doesn't really work, does it? Um, I am drinking an Air Up King, yes. I, don't, I haven't changed the thing on it for ages, though. I just use it for the water. Start bench sell Ivanovic, Walker, Zabaleta, says Dan. Ivanovic, Walker, Zabaleta. I'll sell Walker, I'll bench Zabaleta, and I'll start Ivanovic. I, I, I mean, Carl, Carl Walker's all right. But um, I don't I don't massively rate him. If that's uh, I don't rate him as highly as them. If uh, if that's fair to say, and it is fair to say because I just said it. Um, thanks for all the things that butter your butter your bread. By the way, 
as I said, I'm really into sweets jars being filled up with different types of sweets at the moment. I don't know why. Uh, what's your thoughts on Swansea, Mark? Says the Swansea view. I haven't really thought about them a lot. And uh, there will be 115 tears from City fans when they get relegated to Shane. We should be going for all three of them. Tadebo, Branthwaite and Tossin, says Zultan. I mean, it seems a bit greedy. I mean, I don't think Manchester United need to go and buy that many players, if I'm being completely honest. Um, that seems like a hell of a lot um, to be playing. Um, you know... City have more charges than fans, says Dylan. And uh, Villa bank account's a little fatter tonight, says Mike. Uh, oh, my Villa mate's come back to me now. So I messaged my Villa mate and I said, why have Villa thrown this game? Shocking team to put out and hand City the win. The response is this. We need four wins for Champions League football. Emery has looked at it and thought we have one in 29 chance at City. We have a threadbare squad. Take the loss and keep everyone fit for Saturday against Brentford. I do think if we had been full strength squad, we would have given them a game. This will be three or four now. And that that's a Villa fan talking. So look, Villa fans, you probably agree with that. You probably agree with that. But for the rest of the league, it's harsh. It's harsh. But it's true. You know, we shouldn't be afraid to face the truth. The fact is... They've got Brentford at the weekend. They probably need four wins to get top four or five. Um, and he's thrown the game, effectively. He won't admit he's thrown the game and he'll never get caught for doing it. But the Villa fans understand it. I can sort of understand it. It's just disappointing that it, it, it falls into Man City's lap and not Arsenal's. Like, will they go to Arsenal a week on Saturday and do the same? Or will he go to Arsenal because he used to manage them and put a strong team out? And that's when the problem happens. And we'll have to wait. Because if they go to Arsenal next Saturday with a really strong team, it's not fair, is it? But life's not fair. Will you will United be looking for a new manager in the summer, says Jurgen Klopp? Well, I hope not, but you never know. Man United play tomorrow. I think if that they lose that, probably another nail in the coffin of Ten Hag's Manchester United managerial career. Um... McTominay tries and that seems enough for any pundit you listen to, says Kenneth. Oh, mate. I've been on Talk Sport with Ali McCoist and he rates McTominay. I don't know whether it's a Scottish thing, but he's not the only one. Like, you know, he's just not good enough. I, I don't understand how people like... Um, God, my comb over is looking really good today. Don't go through too much of it, though. You're getting rid of the product. Um... I'm amazed that people like Gary Neville and Roy Keane and Paul Scholes, who know the game, don't call McTominay out. He's he's rubbish. In in the sense of a, a top four player, he's rubbish. If he was playing for West Ham, I think he'd be good. But he's not a top four player, and it's so obvious. But they won't call him out. I don't know why. Probably because they know him. Probably because he's from the youth. You know, I don't know, but he, they're more than happy to destroy someone like Martial or Anthony or whoever. But McTominay, free pass. Um, I have no idea what Olsen was doing, says the HPN. Uh, the, he went through the wall, mate. It's not the goalkeeper's fault. The wall has not done its job. It's it's opened up. Um, we should be going for all three of them. We've done that. Uh, if I was United, I'd go, I'd buy Robinson from Fulham because he's only... I, I, Flores, I, you're talking my language. I mean, you literally are typing in English, but you're right. Um, Robinson from Fulham would be a very good left back. The problem is he probably cost a lot of money. Um, look at Brighton stats. Eric Ten Hag out. Deserby in, says Jack. There's only one stat that matters, mate. Nil, nil. Nil, nil. Yeah, they've had a lot of the ball. Yeah, they've had a lot of shots. Nil, nil. Andrew Littlefair says Grealish gets booked for dissent and it's still not enough. No, because they're still bloody doing it. They don't stop doing it. So book another one. Name the EFL side using letters from your first and last name. No duplicates. Uh, 
What? Name EFL sides using the letters from your first and last name. No duplicates. Birmingham City. MG, innit? Um... This is the only one I can think of at the moment. There will be more. There will be more. Uh, Don Johnson says he's right. We want to maximise our points. As I said, Aston Villa have got no obligation to help out this title race. It's just integrity-wise. It always seems to land in Man City's lap, doesn't it? Pep Guardiola will have been, you know, absolutely ecstatic when he saw that Villa team. I mean, you've got to question why Haaland's not playing and De Bruyne's not playing. Is that a bit of a coincidence that De Bruyne and Haaland get rested against Villa? He must have known the team. He must have known the team. Why would City go a little bit weaker as well? Um... Did you see the Ipswich game against Southampton, says Big Bad? No, I didn't, but I, I obviously saw the result. Very exciting. Man United beat Villa twice this season. You're right. Good point, Reggie. Amazing, that, isn't it? Absolutely amazing, considering they're so much better than us. Please do subscribe, bottom right-hand corner. Come on, let's get one to eight. We're still 200 subscribers short. Get involved with That's Football. You're very welcome. What are our next watch-alongs? That was asked a few minutes ago. Um, well, I'm doing Man United against Chelsea at Stamford Bridge tomorrow night. That'll be on the United stand. Saturday, um, I will do Brighton Arsenal at half five. And uh, I think that'll be it. I'm not doing Palace against Man City. No. And the three game, three o'clock games are shit. Obviously, Man United, Liverpool on... Uh, uh, some weird kickoff times on Sunday. Have you seen them? Really weird. Like, Man United play Liverpool at half three. Sheffield United are playing Chelsea at half five. And Tottenham are playing Forest at six. I've never seen I've never seen that. Don't don't anybody want to fill us in on what that's all about? Why the hell are Sheffield United playing Chelsea at half five and Tottenham are playing Forest at six on a Sunday? It's not even a bank holiday. Weird. Uh, Mark, can you share one of your interesting memories of being a detective fan from Malaysia? Um, I can't really... I can't really... I'll have a think. Uh, Brighton and Brentford has finished 0-0. Or Brentford and Brighton's finished 0-0. Um, Arsenal are going to beat Luton. It's 2-0 into the fourth minute of added time. Uh, Doku's just had a shot. Saved. And... It's because of TV rights with other countries, says it's Louis. Well, good save by Olsen. Bernardo Silva nearly made it three. Train strikes is why it's happening. Oh, Spurs changed because there's travel disruption on Monday in London. I'm still doing train strikes in this country. I mean, fucking hell. The, the crap this country's going through at the moment. The NHS is a bloody joke. The National Health Service is a joke. The um, There's always bloody strikes on the trains. It's mad. Championship is the best league in the country, says Eri Aridi. Robbo96. Hold on. Villa on the break here. Down the right-hand side. Into the box. Little dinky cross. It's terrible. Look at Foden, though. You know, that you wouldn't get that work rate from Man United. Look at the number of shirts back working for the team. Good tackle. That's not a foul. 
bloody hell. Um, football Hall is having City dominate game and Darren Fletcher go, let's bring in Joe Cole or Rio Ferdinand to see what he thinks, says Robbo96. Are you considering to use Apple Playback, says Havard? No. Uh, Robinson and Tossin for 60 million or Branthwaite and Anana for 90. What, a left back and a centre back or a centre back and a midfielder? I'll, I'll go with the midfielder as well, please. Beans on toast. Start bench sell as a coach. Rooney, Gerard, Lampard. Bloody hell. I mean, they're all not. I mean, I'll, I'll choose Rooney. I'll start Rooney because Man United connection. Probably bench Lampard and sell Gerard. I think Gerard's is. Well, no, that Gerard did have the Rangers thing, didn't he? I, mean, I don't know. It's tough. It's really tough. And not for good reasons. Alex says Arsenal are top of the league. They've won 2 0. They have done as well. What do I think of Branthwaite, Mark, says Cameron. Well, left-footed centre-back, Premier League proven. Lots of uh, development there. I think he's uh, I think he's got a bright future, yeah. Can we get your prediction for the Euros winner and Euro golden boot winner, says Itzakalis. Um I think England are going to win the Euros and therefore I'm going to go Harry Kane as the winner of the golden boot. I think Forrest will stay up, Daniel, because I just don't think Luton are going to get any points. Or enough points. Who's your favourite actor? Says it's Louis. I mean, I like Pacino and De Niro, but I also do like... Um, DiCaprio, Pitt, uh, Bale, Phoenix, Damon. I mean, one actor I used to really like, and he sort of fell off a cliff, is uh, Edward Norton. He's a very good actor. I think he was a bit problematic, but... Uh... I'll have a little stretch, I think. Oh, look at this. This ref's on the fucking take. Every bloody foul he gets. That's not a foul. Daniel Day-Lewis is very good, though. That wasn't a foul. Every bloody opportunity he can give something to City is there. I I'm convinced there's something going on with the referees in City. I'm absolutely convinced of it. Could no, You can't prove it, but it's just weird. Denzel Washington, yes. Very good actor. Villa on the break there. Wasn't even a foul. Oh, it's a foul. Oh, what? So we can just watch City attack again and again and again. Stephen Graham is a very good actor, P Piano. Yeah, he is. I, 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 I actually really try not to watch Man City. I don't know whether you picked up on that, but I really, unless, it, unless they're playing like Liverpool or a game where I think they might lose, I find it really hard to watch them. Mainly because I don't like them, but also I just find their football really hard to watch.
Russell Crowe. I mean, Russell Crowe fell out. I do, I do like Russell Flo, uh, Russell Flo, Russell Crowe, but he fell off a little bit. Um, come on, Villa. Try and do something on the break. Here we go. Douglas Louise. Three against two. Come on, what are you going to do? Make a good run for him. That is a good ball. Diaby. He's still got a lot to do. Douglas Louise. Good save by Ortega. That was a chance. That was a chance. It was a good save. Corner to Villa. And it comes close on the keeper. Good save again by Ortega. Well, wow, two chances for Villa there. Uh, did you watch June 2 and what were your thoughts, says it's Louis? I haven't watched it yet. Did you watch Roadhouse yet with Conor McGallagher? I haven't watched that either yet. Conor Gallagher, Matt. Apparently that's been seen by 50 million people. On Amazon Prime. Um, uh, T-Town says, Bernardo Silva did a tackle from behind in the last game and not even got called for a foul. Definitely didn't get a yellow and TV was going on about it. It's fair play to Villa. They've made a bit of a game of it considering... Considering it's their B team. Here's Alvarez. Doku. Nice ball, actually. Here's Grealish. He's got some time. He's going to bend that. Good block. Grealish again. That's a foul. That's a foul. Um, player of the season, Mark, says FPL Fozzy. Well, I was talking about this on the podcast. Who's your top three players of the season? Do your top threes, and I'll read some of them out. I think that um, for me, it's uh, it comes down to um, McAllister, Alexi McAllister, or Declan Rice, or Rodri. And I, and I was talking about it on the podcast, and I think it's I think it's brilliant. I think it's absolutely brilliant that you've got a situation where. Um, Arguably the three best players in the league are all holding midfielders. Because you know me, I'm a big fan of the holding midfield position. I think it, I think there's levels to this game. Um, so, yeah. Now, uh, what, what order would you do it in? It probably comes down to who wins the league. I mean, Declan Rice for a hundred million pound player. Not many people with that price tag hit the ground running. So I think he's been brilliant. Alexi McAllister's price tag is way less into a big club, and he's been transformative. Um, and obviously, Rodri is just consistently, you know, he is consistently brilliant. So. A lot of people saying uh, Rice, Watkins, McAllister says Tutor File. Uh, McAllister, Rice, Paqueta says Dom. Johnny Evans says Aaron. Vicario has been very good to Stewart. This is a good topic. Uh, Man City nearly scored again there. Good play by Villa, though. Got a bit of a break going on. 
He's gone wide left. Oh, he's got it into him as well. Uh, he's got to put the cross in there. Got to put the cross in there. Cole Palmer's getting a few shouts out. I mean, Cole Palmer's been very good this season for Chelsea. Absolutely no doubt about that. City fans clapping De Bruyne warming up. Do me a favour, says Robbo96. I'll tell you what, I bloody love it if Villa got an equaliser. Half an hour to go. I don't think they will. What Emery should do now is bring on Torres, Bailey and Tillemans. And have a go. Have a go. What about Ross Barkley, says Connor. Douglas Luiz has been very good as well. Good shout out from Basically Vader. Not an Arsenal fan, but Odegaard pulls the strings. Yeah, the trouble with Odegaard, Matt, is up until Christmas, he was very restricted by that Hazard, uh, that Havertz playing in the midfield thing. As soon as they've switched back to, you know, like Jorginho and Rice, then Odegaard's been bloody brilliant again. Man City are an artificial club and boring to watch, says Gunner Station. My player of the season is Shane Long, says Jake. Bernardo Silva. There's Rodri. This should be a goal. Oh, it's it's over. What a finish by Foden into the bottom corner. Little pass from Rodri. And that's going to be game over, isn't it? Still half an hour to go. There'll be no way back from Villa. There'll be no way back from that. Um, why is the Hairy Lemon your favourite pub, says Jonathan Landy? Oh, it's because I just, when I lived in Dublin, that was sort of my local, really. After work, it was just up the road. We'd go in there for a few drinks and stuff. Break for the border was the club just across the road. Don't know whether it is anymore. Um... I mean, there's a lot of bars I used to drink in in Dublin, but the Harry Lemon was was probably my favourite. Lovely finish by Foden. Bottom corner just passes it in. I mean, you'd expect him to score, to be honest. The marking's absolutely terrible. Emery, Emery deserves an Oscar. You see Emery sort of pretending to be bothered. Oh, oh. and he's Eddie's going, don't care. Don't care. Um, game done, says TZ. I'm going to go make myself another fish finger and take the piss out of goldfish, I think. I mean, he's bringing off Douglas Luis. Gets even better. Ain't serious. They ain't serious. That's incredible. I've got to tweet it. Uh, are Everton and Brentford at risk of relegation? Let's have a look at the league table. Um, 
Brentford got 28 points, 31 played. Everton have got 26 points, 30 played. Uh, Luton have got 22 points and have played a game more. I don't. I genuinely don't think Luton will get 32 points. I don't think they'll get 10 points from their last eight games. Uh, seven games. So they've got to play City. They've got to play Bournemouth, City, Brentford, Wolves, Everton, West Ham, Fulham. I don't think they'll get 10 points. So I can't see how Everton and Brentford are in trouble. Yeah. I can clearly hear 115 City supporters celebrating, says Havard. Uh, polite applause for the goal from indifferent City fans. The stadium announcer has to comp compensate even more for that, says Robbo96. Thanks, pal. Give me some agony bridge stuff. We've still got we've still got twenty five minutes left here. Any any advice on anything you need? I, I can help. Experienced. Just don't talk to me about your pet snail die. I mean, people keep snails as pets as well. Imagine getting sad about a snail dying. Oh my god! Don't take me there. Don't take me there. Start bench cell, Pink Floyd, Led Zeppelin or Rolling Stones, says It's a Khalees. Uh, start Rolling Stones. I'm not really into the other two. Bench, Pink Floyd, Cell, Led Zeppelin. Uh, Aaron says it'd be a shame if Villa don't get top, top four. Don't see them getting another chance, says Aaron. You never know, though, do you? I mean, it's a very good point, actually. The fact that Spurs and Villa are in with a shout of uh, top four, it's such a rarity that you would expect that when you consider that Chelsea, Newcastle and Man United have fell off a cliff this season. Start bench sell. Pet goldfish, pet snail or pet rock, says Jürgen. Well, I don't know what order I'd go in, Jürgen, but I've got to be honest. Really, what is the more, you know... I probably, be, you know what? I'd be more upset about losing my, my keys than I would be a goldfish or a snail. Ruthless bridge or not, you know. In fact, I'd be more, I'd be more upset if I went to get my breakfast and somebody'd had the last Weetabix than I would be about a goldfish passing in the night. Uh, will you be going to Wembley, says James? Um, I don't know. We'll see if we get there first. I mean, I know, I'm not going for the semi-final against Coventry. It's a foregone conclusion. Saka or Foden? I always go Saka, but recency bias always detect dictates that. Thanks for all the super chats tonight, by the way. Have you ever actually had a fish, Mark? Yeah, I mean, I normally go for a pie and chips, but uh, I've had I've had been known to have a fish and chips, mushy peas. I know you a real fish. I did actually. We had two fish. Um, we had a we had a goldfish and a and a blackfish, and they were both the same, and neither of them lived long. You have to change the water and stuff. And don't give them coke. That's that's a joke. Don't like... I will get the RSP. They'll be on to me again for that. No, but you have to keep their water really clean. 
And they stink as well. The water stinks. Oh, Foden's just scored. I mean, this keeper's crap. He's absolutely crap. How has he let that in from there? I mean, I'll, I'll eat my words. I'll eat my words if I'm wrong. But how has he let that in? I'm confused. Mullet says, how is he blaming the goalkeeper for that? Because it didn't look like it should go in. So I need to see it again. I haven't seen the replay yet. Bruv, Foden's insane. If he wins player of the year, I'm giving up on football. He shouldn't win player of the year. Right, here it is from behind. Probably should have had a foul. Wins it back. Nah, keeper's not. Keeper's unsighted. Yeah, he's not saving that. Not saving that. He's not saving that. Um, Brian Gallagher says, my grandmother passed November of last year. Um, okay. Uh, really sorry to hear that. And my mother is really struggling, almost distancing herself from the rest of us. Any tips on how to help? Brian, that's a serious problem. That is a real, genuine, serious problem. Right. Um, so, November's not that long ago. It's only six months. Um, the loss of a relative any relative is is hard but obviously your mum is struggling with the loss of her mother here um and her distancing from you is probably her withdrawal from normal life as she comes to terms with such a devastating loss um all you can do is offer support and be there for her and eventually eventually there is no time limit on it the grieving process will become easier um but it's not unusual for people to take a very, very long time. I remember when my mum's dad died and it took it took a long time. It got better. There was ups and downs, but uh, it did it did get better. Um, but it's, it, you know, I always say the grieving process is just getting used to the, the, the reality of them not being here, here anymore and having to live in your heart. And it's very heavy. Uh, I wish I captained Foden on FPL. Nigel, I gave, I've, you know, I finally caved in on FPL. I um, the international break was the end for me. I just forgot again. So that was it. That was it. Uh, we could do with a bit of a more light-hearted uh, agony on bridge now, but I'm here to help and love to Brian and uh, his mother. What's the most irrelevant pet you can think of? See, if I had a pet snake, I wouldn't die if that died. I'd be probably happy. Don't like snakes. Don't understand people who have, who have pet snakes. And it's amazing, when I was in the police, the amount of people that have massive pet snakes or spiders and live in... Uh, it's not. It's not the fact that they live in a flat... It's the fact that they live, like, on the 20th floor. They always live in tower blocks on the 20th floor, and they'll have a massive python. And that's not a euphemism for a cock. I mean, like, a genuine python. You never go around a mansion and see somebody with a big snake. It's always 20th floor flat. Oh, I keep snakes and, and tarantulas. Do you have better ball knowledge than Goldstein, says Jonathan. That that bloody fish finger's got better... A goldfish has got a better bloody ball knowledge than him. He's just a bloody walking... What can I say to be controversial? Uh, do you have... Yeah, I do. Uh, I wish I'd get, done that from Nigel. Charlie's got two tortoises. They're both going to outlive you, Charlie. They live till about 150. Would you do a Europa League uh, final watch along? Yeah, I do. I, do. I, I mean, look, I, I was talking to Will about this today because I think he's going to go to Wembley for the champ uh, for the playoff final, and he said, "Do you normally do a playoff final watch along?" And I said, "I have done it in the past. Playoff final can be really interesting. I mean, it can be absolute muck, but it can be interesting, um, especially this year. I think it will be very competitive because um, Leicester, Ipswich, and uh, Leeds won't all go up, will they? 
Look at that Villa player that's injured on the floor and the referee's like, I ain't looking at you. You're not wearing a light blue shirt. He's still not had a look. Not interested at all. You haven't got a light blue shirt on, mate. Don't even know how he got injured, to be fair. Look at that Man City. They can just bring on Kovacic and uh, Nunez. I still think they might win the league, Man City. I really do. One one five. It's time. It's time, everyone. One one five. One one five. One one five. Can you hear me now? One one five. Uh, what's the signing of the season? Says Harvey Jackson. I I think signing of the season may well be. Um, I think signing of the season, Cole Palmer's been a very good signing, but I do think maybe it's Alexi McAllister. For the, yeah, I think he's been a revelation, I really do. Thanks to you all, Mark, and all in the chat. This is Brian Gallagher. Start bench sell Foden, Harry Kane, or Rodney Trotter. Uh, I'd sell Foden, I'd bench Rodney, and I'd start Harry Kane. No word of a lie. Rodney Trotter's a goat. A G-O-80. Please do subscribe, everybody. We're so close to 128,000. Uh, just on the podcast, by the way, um, Goldbridge Saves Football, you can give it a listen tonight if you're in bed. Don't worry. I won't bite. Um, I won't be there, really. It's just my voice on a audio recording but uh, scan the QR code on your phone get on to the Goldbridge Saves Football podcast even if it's just a pop on there and give us five stars while you're watching the match but uh, do give it a listen tomorrow we've got a special guest on uh, the podcast for the th and it, that'll be out tomorrow night and Friday on YouTube uh, they were meant to be on last week but uh, very much looking forward to having them on tomorrow so be a, be a good good guest tomorrow um, yeah 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 definitely looking forward to that uh, yeah, and please do subscribe. Bottom right hand corner. Been a been a bit of a shit game actually. You know, wasn't the game I thought it was going to be. I I understand why Villa have done it, but just I'm not falling out with Villa fans. I'm not falling out with Emery. I understand why they've done it, but respect the fact that it's very disappointing from an integrity point of view. Um, it is. Um, I'm going to stop this stream like it's over. It's 4-1. I'm, I'm tired. I'm, you know, it's Man City. Fuck them. I'm, I'm not really interested. Um, but thanks everyone for tuning in. Um, tomorrow night on the United stand, it's Manchester United against Chelsea. It's going to be a massive game. And um, people are saying you're being disrespectful. Oh, it's Man City, mate. Villa have been disrespectful putting the Bees team out. And Man City, I, I, I'd, rather, I'd rather watch my dog take a shit. So, uh, yeah. Fair, fair play, fair play to the one one five, and uh, you know, Villa. This is what happens when you put your B team out. You get an absolute tonking, don't you? Um, back tomorrow. Take care, everyone. Speak to you all in a bit.